Thank you to my subscribers for this great tip. Welcome back friends. So a few weeks ago, I posted a video where I showed this cardboard and how I was struggling to get the paper off the top, but just like really struggling. Of course, I do like the result due to the struggling because it has some areas that, you know, is a little grungier. But a couple of people suggested that I wet the cardboard first, like duh. And uh, <laughs> so much easier. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. Anyway, let's take a look. Anyway, this is the idea. We have a piece of cardboard. It was covered in paper on both sides. I cut into it and peeled away. And I did struggle with it a little bit. I like actually that it didn't all come off. It kind of makes a more interesting uh, print, I think. But anyway, I posted that, that uh, experiment and a bunch of people said that it would be easier if you moisten the cardboard. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. But anyway, let's give this a try. Let's see if this works. So I'm using a spray bottle with some water to spray the cardboard a little bit. Now I do notice, I did, I did kind of notice um, that it's best to like wait a little bit and let the paper soak in the water and let it get soft. So this first one I still struggled with, and I think it was because it wasn't wet enough and I didn't wait long enough. So you do have to score around the edges wherever your design is. So I, I went around each of the circles with the knife. And then, you know, you just start from one of the edges. But on this one, I'm just trying to, like, get some of that uh, in between the grooves there and try to get a little bit more off. And then I notice as the other, the other ones end up being a lot more um, pliable because I think that the water had a chance to really absorb. Like see much how much easier this one is coming right up. And I like when it sticks to it like that. I, I leave some of that because it just makes a more interesting imprint. I didn't get like a perfect circle there, but that's okay. And you might have to add some more water. Like you have to play it by ear. Every cardboard box is different also. So this one also was from Amazon, but the other one was a coffee company. So I think the cardboard was slightly different. So as you could see, I just needed to add a little bit more water so that I can get some of those additional papers off. So I had an idea also to get the sanding block out. And that is helping me get into the grooves and get rid of some of that paper. You know, just smoothing out some of it. So I really can't wait to try more of these. I want to, you know, really plan out some designs, maybe even take some of my stencil designs and trace it on here and cut away. So remember, I added more water and it really comes off easier. Okay, so I'm going to end up cutting this board down so that it fits on a, you know, 8x10 jelly plate. And um, I could already tell that I, um, that big area that almost looks like Mickey Mouse ears, that big area is maybe a little bit too much. I should have left some cardboard. Um, have smaller areas because see how it's like flopping in the middle 
So it's because there's so little paper holding it together now. So just keep that in mind if you try this. And also the background, I should have like cut away some more shapes. So anyway, we live and learn. On the next, on the next one, I'm going to do it more like the very first one that I did. Sort of random cuts and things like that. I'm still in love with that first one that I did. But I think, um, you know, these experiments are good to find out what works and what doesn't work. So now we're going to print some paper with this just to see. But I got to wait for this to dry. Give it a good dry overnight and then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll print. Okay, so we're back. And we're going to just um, nice and dry as you can see. And it fits nicely on the plate. And I'm just going to use a little bit of Thalo Blue. I'm going to do two prints. One is just going to be a deli paper because I love this kind of transparent grungy paper with lines. Makes really for a great addition to any collage. So that's why I'm picking a dark color. And I love those little grungy areas. I didn't want to clean up all the paper. And on this one, I cleaned up too much paper, I think. But I think it's go still going to be nice. So I'm pressing down pretty hard. I want to make sure I get a good impression. Yeah, it looks pretty good. A little grungy around the edges, but that's okay. So that's why I'm saying, now that I see this, it took away so much of the background, I should have put some additional cuts in there. It would have made some interesting uh, other shapes in that negative space. So we're just going to pick up with some deli paper, and then we're going to do one more on rice paper. I just wanted to see on the first one what kind of a print it was going to make. So I'm just going to go in with the same color. Don't even need to clean the plate. Okay, very similar. I love some of those like lines that are happening in the negative space. I'm going to pick up with some teal and I'm going to wait for this to dry. And I think I'm just going to clean up those edges a little bit. Deli paper does a great job of doing that. So once this paint dries, we'll be able to go over it with the teal and then pull. Yep, it's dry. So I wanted to do this test on my two favorite papers, which are rice paper and the deli paper. That way I get an idea of, you know, what I want to do in the future. And I love these two colors together. Like, look at the brayer sheet. Love them together. And this phthalo blue-green shade, when you mix white with it, I'm pretty sure you get that color teal or, or something very close to it. Okay, so here we go. Not a bad print for just two colors. I think it's not bad. 
Anyway, I'm definitely going to cut some more of these. I like that, um, the old one that I did better, um, but that's just a design choice. The whole idea of this tip was, is it easier to cut when it's wet? And absolutely. Uh, the only thing that you have to plan ahead is because you got to wait for that cardboard to dry, which I didn't have to worry about when I, when I didn't wet it. Definitely give this a try. It's easy when you wet the cardboard and it is a great way to create texture plates for your printing. What a great way to make your own unique designs and have something that you can put on the plate. Okay, so what do you think? That's a really good tip. Thank you to my subscribers and to the, those of you who commented on this. I don't remember who was who, but this was a good one. So thank you very much. We're all ordering from Amazon. We're all getting lots of boxes. Let's turn them into art. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.